Good morning, my lovelies. It is the day that you've been waiting for for a very long time, GCSE results day. So big, big good luck today. I'm going to be all over social media answering as many of your questions as I possibly can, kind of like what's the remarks, what are the better options next year, and um, could you still have time to change your mind, and um, what you should do about this, what you should do about that, so if you've got any questions, just let me know. I have already put out loads of videos, so um, whether you should get a remark, or the different choices, the different options you have for a remark, um, how you can think really, really carefully about what A-level choices you've um, made, and then over the next few days, I'm going to be putting out videos like how to prepare for A-level psychology, how to prepare for A-level biology, um, and what sort of things you can do with these couple of weeks before you go back to school to actually make sure you go back to school really, really successfully. Um, but massive good luck for today. And um, one of the things I'm going to ask you to do as personal favour to me is to not ask other people what exam results that they got. Um, because different people are going to be happy with different things. Somebody might be really, really happy with their, like, five grades that, like, um, a grade four, they might have worked loads and loads and loads for this and overcome um, lots of different struggles for this. And then somebody might have sailed through and got 11 grades, eight and nine. Both of those are absolutely brilliant results to that person. It doesn't mean that one person getting all eights and nine is better than the person that got all fours and fives. That is not how it works. Um, if you have the grades or your friends have the grades to get onto the next course in your life, if you've got what you've needed to get onto your sixth form course, your A-level choices, your technicals, um, your, your apprenticeship or whatever it is you're doing next year, if you've got the grades, then absolutely brilliant, well done. And please ignore all of the, the headlines because they're just, just winding you up, really. Um, and the grand scheme of things doesn't actually make any difference to you, doesn't really make much difference to, to your life, what the newspapers are saying to actually wind you up. Um, so please do your very, very best to ignore those, drop any questions, please let me know, I want to see all your reacts videos, um, because I love seeing how well you do. Ouch! This is why in some videos I unexplained scratches.